Hey everybody, Jess here, Key Tarot. Welcome to you all. This is going to be a real quick general reading. I so appreciate getting to read your cards for you today. Let's say a blessing and we'll find out who this is for and what it's all about, all right? Holy Spirit, thank you for being with us here today and in every breath that we take. We ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them. Amen. All right, I'm going to start with this artist inner vision tarot. See what we come up with. Oh my God. Beautiful. Um, so I have the judgment card on the bottom of the deck. And when it comes to love and we look at the judgment card, for me, that's kind of like a love at first sight sort of energy. Let's think about this. So this can either be your energy or this can be someone that you have on your mind, somebody that you know is thinking about you. It's like as soon as your eyes meet with this person, you guys just feel all of the love. It's beautiful. I have the Fool card, the Two of Wands, Temperance, and the Chariot. My goodness. So um, I have <laughs> the Two of Wands is someone who's ready for partnership. And it feels like the two of you are both ready to kind of join together. Um, I always think of the Two of Wands as kind of a lusty card. There's probably a lot of sexual attraction between the two of you, a lot of physical attraction between the two of you. And it's like, you can almost read one another's minds as soon as you, your eyes meet. There's something about this person that, um, I don't know how you know them, but it's kind of intoxicating and it feels really intense every time you're around this person. Um, you may have like heart flutters or something. The fool card is someone who's ready to start over again or someone who's ready to take a leap of faith in this. So I don't know if you've known this person for a long time or if you just met this person. I'm going to dig deeper in just a minute. Just wait. Um, I have the temperance card, which is Sagittarius energy. I also have the chariot card, which is Cancerian energy. So you or this other person may have that heavily in your chart. Um... I'm hearing it's go time. I've got the Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. That's someone who's ready to offer their heart. I have the Queen of Cups. That's someone who's ready to open their heart. I've got the Six of Cups. And that is soulmate energy. That's past life love. That's someone that you recognize them on sight. Um, there's just something about this person that you just know you're meant to experience. I have the Emperor under that. That's divine masculine energy. Okay, thank you. And I have the Knight of Wands there. That's very sexually passionate, like I was talking about earlier. This is someone who is very charismatic, very brave. And I don't know if that's you or if that's this other person. I'm going to do some digging here in just a minute with another deck. Do we need any more with this deck before? Thank you, before I clarify. And I have the Strength card, also Leo energy. So I've got Sag, Leo, and Cancerian energy very heavily on the deck. Also Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And Aries as well as Divine Masculine energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So Fire sign, Water sign heavily. This person... Oh, this person, you may know them from work. I have the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This person knows um, that they know that they ultimately want to commit to you. Wow. Fair enough. All right. So, and I just picked up this deck. This is the Star Power Tarot. On the bottom of the deck, I have the Four of Wands. Um, which can be that Twin Flame 1111 card. It can be a card of marriage. It can be a card of stability. Yep, you know this person through work somehow. This person may be a Scorpio. This, oh, you are the most happy when this person is around. Um, and you share a friend group or a community of some sort with this person. Um, the both of you are very happy around one another. You've got that Eight of Pentacles out there twice. Okay. Oh, and I have the Ten of Cups right under that. And the Nine of Cups under that, which I have here also. 
Um, the Nine of Cups, like I said, it seems like you guys are the happiest when you're around one another. Um, that Ten of Cups is another card of marriage, same as this Hierophant energy. The Ten of Cups, though, it's um, it's about ultimate fulfillment in a love relationship. And it can be a family coming together, a family being created, or a blended family coming together. All right? That Hierophant is about a major commitment. It can be contractual. What else do we have here? I have the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. This is like a magical story. I don't know who I'm reading for here, but these are, this is a really good vibe. I don't know if you've just met this person. I don't know if you've known this person for a long time. I don't know if this is someone who's been in your friend group for a long time. There's the Nine of Cups again. I've got some cards that have fallen off onto the floor. Hang tight. Oi. Oh, that's what I said. Oi. And I have the Six of Wands again. I've got the Chariot card again. Um, so I still have Heavy Cancerian on there. I get a lot of Zodiac signs out here. That Ace of Wands is the most sexually passionate card we have in the entire deck, as well as being the most phallic of all the cards. This person, um, I'm not going to tell you what I'm hearing. Um, this person's very attracted to you. And I feel like you're very attracted to this person also. Um, that Ten of Pentacles can be... I mean, it can be indicative of a windfall of money, but it really feels like this person wants to spend the rest of their life with you. Wow. Okay, fair enough. And it does feel like this is a workplace dynamic. There's the Knight of Wands again. Um, you may have... Okay, just, just give me... This Eight of Pentacles is a workplace dynamic. All right, so some of you may know this person through where you work. The Knight of Wands is someone who is very brave and they're not afraid of taking action in this situation. Um, oh, and I've got the King of Cups under that. That's Cancer Pisces Scorpio plus the King of Pen Pentacles. That's Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. This person embodies all of the four kings of the deck, um, especially with that Emperor energy there. Um, that Wheel of Fortune is, uh, something's kind of changed. Something's about to shift in this dynamic if it hasn't already. Um, I'm, I'm feeling like something happens between now and March in this connection. And I don't know why I feel that way, but that's, that's what I'm feeling. Um, that kind of brings this connection together. This may have been kind of a slow moving connection. You may have always known that you had feelings for one another, but maybe it was it was just slow to start. There's something about this person that they know that once they cross this line, whatever this is with you, once they acknowledge the feelings that they have for you, once they verbalize them, that there's really no going back from that. Um, and I think that's why we have the chariot out there twice and we have this tower out here. And at some point, this person had to make a decision about whether they were going to or whether they were not going to. I've got the king of wands out there, too. Like I said, all of the four kings plus the hierophant again. Very nice. I love the repeat cards that you guys give me. You guys are great to do that. I appreciate that. That tells me that your energy is very, very clear and that you're very energetically intelligent, Absolutely, because you can send all of your energy from wherever you're watching this all the way over to where I am, and that helps me read your cards much more clearly. Um, something at some point, this person had to make a decision. I don't know if it was between you and another person, or whether it was just between you and making a solid commitment and or staying single or something, or whether you had to do that. I'm not sure, but this person knows that there's no going back after this kind of declaration of feelings. All right, you feel the same way about one another, no problem. Um, one or the other of you is very intuitive. Um, one or the other of you may be a tarot reader yourself. <laughs> and a lot of times tarot readers watch other tarot readers, right? Um, so that may be about you or that may be about this other person. You may dream about this person. This person may dream about you a lot. Or you may just have some kind of a telepathic bond where you're able to kind of read each other's minds just by looking into each other's eyes, something like that. Um, let me grab another deck because I feel like this person, and I've got the fool on the bottom of the deck, very nicely done, plus the sun card there. Um, the, oh boy, oh boy. Um, um, 
I've got the fool out there twice then. So that's someone who's ready for a new beginning. This is someone who's kind of waiting for this dawn to happen, waiting for this, this sun to rise. Um, this two of cups is about a fully formed partnership. This person may have had someone else they were involved with before or something like that, but this person is getting ready to move forward, either physically relocate or move on from this. Um, let me just give me a half sec here. Hmm. Um, so this is interesting. I don't know if you have experienced some kind of a relationship with this person before third party situationship. Yikes. Oh, all of a sudden my stomach got very upset. Um, you may have issued this person an ultimatum of like, I well, I certainly can't be with someone who's in another relationship. And so I just saw 1111 on the counter. Um, and so you may have asked this person to make a change. It feels like they're doing that. They had to make a difficult decision and they have had to choose to let someone go, but they may have lingered a little bit longer in that relationship than they maybe should have. Maybe because they were worried about walking away from something that they had invested quite a lot in. Something's happened though. I don't know if it's between the two of you or in this other situation where they realize it's time to move on. It's time to let go, even though it's difficult and even though it's hard. Um, it's quite painful, really. Sorry. Um, this person may not have always told the truth about their feelings about you, and they may never have told this other person that they're with that they have feelings for you. Um, with this death card again, scorpionic energy. Um, this is some, oh, I see. Um, I feel like when this person initially met you, they knew who you were. They recognized you immediately. There was instant recognition between the both of you about how, how um, you know, about true love, you know, between the two of you and attraction for sure, but true love. Um, and this person may have gone back to um, someone that they were previously with, or they may have lingered in a relationship that they knew they needed to let go of a little bit too long. You may have given up on that connection and it feels like there's a shift and there's a change here for you with that wheel of fortune out twice or three times, however many times we've had it out there. Okay. And I have the king, I have all the kings out here, all of them plus that emperor energy. This person didn't tell the truth. Um, shoot. Sorry, kids. Um, this person did not initially tell the truth about their feelings for you, but I think something has shifted here and it's become um, quite apparent. This is very, um, like I can feel the feelings here. This person is quite emotionally overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. And then I have the four of wands again, which is again that twin flame 1111 card. Um, boy, howdy. Um, this person's ready to talk about their true feelings for you. This is kind of otherworldly, and I don't mean to be dramatic or to make this seem like more than it is, but I really do think it is. Yes, I am right. Um, so I have this star card with this magician energy and, and this page of swords here. This is somebody who knows that they need to tell you the truth. This star card and this magician, this is someone who is meant to be on your path. This is someone you're meant to know. This is someone who knows that they're meant to know you as well. Um, that's quite a powerful combination there. 
Um, it may have taken this person to, some time to kind of decode this energy, but I think that they have spent enough time with you and seen what they have made to see, needed to see and also experienced what they've needed to experience by watching you from a distance or by watching you close up or you vice versa one way or the other. And this is someone who knows that you're kind of their destiny. And I know that those are heavy words and I know that we all have a lot of different soulmates, but this is rather specific and this is a rather important connection. I think this person knows that. And with this page of pentacles, this is someone who knows a good thing when they see it. No question. And it feels like they're ready to close out whatever chapter or volume of their life they have been living in order to start a new one with you. I feel like this is going to come together in March and I don't know why I feel that way. So if this is your reading and this really resonates with you and for you, um, look for changes to be happening now. But the culmination of this to happen in March. And if I was going to be rather specific, I would say it would be like the second or third week of March that this comes together. And I, again, I don't know why I feel that way. That's just kind of what I'm seeing. I have the Knight of Cups out there again with the Lovers and the Ace of Pentacles. If you read cards, um, you'll know. And also the Queen of Cups again. And also the Ten of Pentacles again. And then there's your Empress that goes with the Emperor right next to each other right there. Um, the Emperor and the Empress together. Now that Lovers card is a very significant love relationship in your life coming towards you. And that Ace of Pentacles is one that you know you can trust. One that you know is going to go the distance for sure. Man, I'm kind of flabbergasted and floored by this one. If this is your reading, and I hope that it is, I do hope that it is. And you know, I'm going to tell you the, what I see. I'm just going to read these cards. And that is, and if you are someone who reads cards, you know, every single card that I have pulled here for you, that you have pulled here, um, you know, the significance of it all. And it is pretty remarkable. I'm pretty pleased by this. And whoever you are, I just wish you the very, very best and happy Valentine's Day to you guys. If you watch this on a day that is not Valentine's Day, then happy day to you, whatever day it is. Um, this is a really good sign. This Ace of Pentacles is about the best card you could ever get in any single reading because it's something that you can trust. It's something that you value. This person values you. This person's not going to let you go. Hi. All right. I think we can be done here, kids. I love you all so much. Thank you for letting me read your cards. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And do drop below in the comments if this is your reading. I wish you all the very, very best. Good luck and have a wonderful, wonderful week. Mwah to you all.